the Biological Weapons Convention is um, an international treaty that completely prohibits the use of biological weapons. And it's been in force for a number of years since, you know, 1976 now. And so uh, really uh, a long time. Um, and there should be no countries in the world that develop biological weapons uh, or that would use biological weapons. And that's really what that treaty is there to ensure that we maintain this norm against biological weapons because the world considers this form of weaponry so abhorrent that it's completely banned it. Unlike the other, um, you know, weapons of mass destruction, the nuclear side, uh, we ban some things but not all things. Some are allowed to have nuclear weapons, not er but not everybody. Uh, on the chemical side, again, there are, there are bans on chemical weapons, but for certain things like national domestic riot control, for instance, you are allowed to use chemical weapons. Yeah. Um, they wouldn't be termed chemical weapons, they'd be termed things like tear gas, but yes. essentially they are the same sorts of things. So these other conventions have all these other exceptions to them, but the Biological Weapons Convention is special in the sense that it completely prohibits these sorts of weapons. Today we've got, um, we've just had Tanzania join as well, so we're now at 183 states parties to the convention, wow. which is pretty much global. Yes. We're missing about 10 countries or something like that, but we're pretty much global. How do we ensure everybody sticks to the convention? This is the, really the sticking point because with biology, unlike with chemicals and, nu uh, and, and nuclear uh, weapons, the, bio the, the biological side is so dual. It's so dual use. So it's so ubiquitous everywhere. Um, you have what you need to create a weapon almost in, you know, a, a beer brewery, for instance, wow. or uh, in a pharmaceutical company that produces vaccines. Well, it could also be changed around to produce weapons. And so because so much of this both the science and the equipment and the facilities that you need to weaponize disease, essentially, um, is sort of readily available. It becomes very hard to check whether people really are adhering to it. And so that's one of the big sticking points of this convention, and it has been for a long time, and that's what, you know, the foundational difficulty, essentially. Over the years, that's changed quite substantially. So in the beginning, I mean, this fun, fun, fundamentally, this is a treaty by states for states. Yes, okay. um, and it was negotiated, you know, in the depths of the Cold War. Uh, this is a long time ago when the idea of public engagement looked very different to, to what it does today. Um, and so part of the process over the years has really been to make sure the treaty, you know, m continues to be a living document and is relatable and relevant to its stakeholders. And because biology is so ubiquitous, mm -hmm. uh, the stakeholders are broad. If you look, if you look at the other treaties, it's very much focused. If in the nuclear, for instance, it's very much is very specialized within the military. Um, here, we're actually talking about university labs. We're talking about undergraduate students. We're talking. This is relevant to everybody. And so, the main stakeholders of the treaty are essentially the publics, the various publics that we have. So there's a there's a big role today to get that sort of engagement from all these various stakeholders in the Biological Weapons Convention, and certainly um, individual scientists, but also these national uh, science academies and the international uh, bodies uh, within the sciences play an important role in providing, you know, expert guidance, in, in, in explaining where the science is at at the moment, what, what's possible, what could become possible. Um, all those things also, you know, yeah. hospital labs and industry and biotech startups and synthetic biology and companies and all of gene editing companies, all these sorts of stakeholders play an, an, an important role. And so we've seen a general opening up of the convention and the meetings to bring in civil society. We're not where we want to be yet.